<clears throat> the old 96 Buick Century is back. She's got a misfire. And uh, I'm dealing with a weak coil here. So I've got my secondary probe hooked up. I thought maybe I had another bad injector, which, <laughs> let's be honest, guys, um, these things have injector problems, but um, I already checked the injectors and I don't see an issue with them. There's no leak down. Um, anyways, it's flagging a trouble code for uh, cylinder one misfire. And this is, what cylinder am I on right now? I am on cylinder number two. Captions capturing the secondary side. And I just want to show you guys what that secondary looks like. Now look at that KV on that. Um, I mean there's no that this is a snap, snap capture, so let me let me let it idle here. I got a trigger on. So that's our waveform on our secondary. And you can see we're not getting anything near what I'd like to see. No, I, it doesn't mean I don't, I'm, I'm saying the injectors are all good, but I don't like that. Uh, you can see here my spark, my spark, my spark KV there is just not real present. So let me uh, go to another cylinder. Let's try cylinder four. Now keep in mind, cylinder four is the companion cylinder to cylinder one. You can see there, let me pause this. So, take a look at that, um, this dwell time, and notice the little ramp, ramp up right there. And then look at, look at our KV again, a little better than the other cylinder. Here's our burn time. All right, so let's do a couple snaps on cylinder four, just to show you. There's, there's our run, our idle. Now let me snap it. All right, let me do a pause capture on that. Well, guys, you can see this high jump here. That's, that's a fuel issue there. Um, so, you know, we could have like kind of a two-part problem here. Now, I had recommended all the injectors originally when I did number six. And there's a video out on that where that injector was fully stuck open. Um, customer opted not to do that. Um, I'm still not convinced that the injectors are good in this thing, but when we ain't got, I mean, we ain't got no KV at all on our spark lines. So, you know, let's look at cylinder one. And there we're on cylinder one now. It's upside down because I have to invert it because we're on the other side of that coil. And again. You can see very low KV, very low KV. Let me get a snap on this one. Uh, hold on. <laughs> oh yeah. Let me get a, let me get that paused. Yeah, it's uh, just like I thought. Definitely lean in the burn there. You can see that high tip, that high spike. Um, on our burn time at the end there, that's that's a lean, that's injection problem right there on cylinder one. Um, are we on cylinder one? Yes, we are. That is the cylinder it was flagging the trouble code for. Again, pretty low KV, but definitely a lean condition. Now let me zoom out. So zoomed out, you can see that snap there. You see that high tail end spike. We're dealing with a weak injector, you know, injection problem for sure. Let's look at number six since I know that injector's been replaced. So here's number six. It looks pretty good. Let's try a snap on it.
pause that. So here you can see I'm zoomed out. And then we're just gonna bring it in on that area where I was snap throttle on it. Oh. Now we gotta find Hold on a second. So here you can see the KV was jumping up pretty high, but let me zoom in on one. So you know, definitely some high spikes there. Not as bad as the other ones. Um, you know, secondary analysis, guys. It's a learning process. I'm gonna say that right there look, almost looks like a, like a, maybe like a plug issue. I'm not quite sure. Let me, let me look at it a little bit more. And I just did it, just at idle. Again, we're on cylinder six. It doesn't look that bad, but I don't like how it's you know kind of hops up like that. So let me look at another cylinder. All right, we're on cylinder three. It's companion. I gotta uninvert this. Again, it's a waste spark system. Look at the KV on that one. Why is that so different on that side versus the other? Very low KV at idle. Very low KV. Let's try to snap. Yeah, weak coil. It's gotta be. It's gotta be weak coils. There's no KV there. Let me look at another coil. Okay, we're on cylinder five. Uh, we gotta invert this. Again, this is at idle. Okay, there's some, there, that one's got a little. Again, we're getting that lean, that lean jump on the end there. She should have done all the injectors when she was in here the first time, like I recommended. Um, let me try snapping this one. Alright, let me capture that. Yeah, look at that tail end jump. This thing... <sighs> should have done all the injectors when I recommended them. Um, you know... All that spark, nowhere to go, no burn time, <clears throat> lean. What do we got for fuel pressure right now? 33-ish, let's see what that does on a snap, just out of curiosity. I'm on the Schrader valve. coming up 33 again I don't have a leak down issue all right I'm back on cylinder two let's uh, see what that one's doing again we're gonna have to uninvert it and again low KV so uh, you know what's that spike into Just under 30 kV. Um, I'm on cylinder two, which is a companion cylinder to cylinder five. Let's see what that one does again. Sorry for the overkill, guys. It's just secondary. I like to look at it. Yeah. Definitely not a lot of kV there. So we're dealing with kind of a two-part problem. Bad injectors, in my opinion, and weak ignition coils. Um, given the age of the vehicle, um, you know, obviously plugs and wires have been done already on this thing. I know the plugs and wires are good on it. It's, this thing needs coils and the rest of the injectors. I don't know why she didn't do the whole set, but it is what it is. Um, let me get a capture on that again.
Yeah, two-part problem. Should have did all the injectors, and we got weak coils, no doubt about it. I mean, there, and there you can see it. Can I do an injector drop test? Honestly, guys, what the hell is the point? I had recommended all the injectors from the get-go, <clears throat> and uh, we didn't want to spend the money at that time, so I think we're done. I mean, we can pull an amperage measurement on the coil, or on the injectors, which I already did, and they're all pulling about an amp. Um, you know, do we start with coils? I guess that would be an option. <sighs> Let me think about this. So yeah, again, 96 Buick Century with a 3.1 VIN M is what we're working on here. So here I got the misfire counters up on this. And you can see it idle right now, just idling. And you got nothing, but look at the history. Again, a lot on cylinder one. A lot on cylinder one. A couple on five. Let's try snapping it. Down the idle. Four on cylinder five. So cylinder five, huh? Well, since we're here um, and it's nice and warm, I'm trying to get this really warm. I'm just going to own these injectors. Even though I did that before, I just want to double check. But let's do a quick. Uh, relative. We'll just disconnect the harness for the injectors and crank it over and listen to the engine. I've already done that. Um, I didn't hear any issues. But at least now that it's been running this long, we can eliminate cylinder wash as a variable. So again, I just cut all the injector controls. So let's crank it and listen. Hopefully you can hear it. I mean, I hear a little bit. There is a little bit of a cadence difference there. This is cylinder one's in cylinder. I did one earlier running. Just for those of you who are curious. And I compared it to a known good. I compared it to a known good, guys, and I didn't see much of a variance. You know, does this car have compression problems? Well, maybe a little bit, but you know, nothing to be unexpected at the mileage it's at. But let me try another uh, uh, relative and let's just listen to it one more time. All right, listen. Sounds pretty consistent to me. Yeah, I don't think it's a compression problem. This thing needs coils and injectors. The other ones that we didn't do. And I can't remember if it was cylinder six. I think it was cylinder five, to be honest with you. All right, real quick, down and dirty. A, B, C, D, E, all the way to K, right? We're on the harness. They're labeled right on the connector, real easy. Um, one, we're, we're doing an ohms check, 25.7 on 25.7 ohms of resistance on injector one, okay? Um, we are on A to D, A to D. So remember, 25.7, we'll write that down, injector one. The injectors are good and hot, guys. Scratch that, guys, uh, I had my pins wrong. 13.1, 13.1 on injector one. All right, on to injector two, that's B. 13.1 injector 3 is C 12.9 injector 4 K 13.2 injector 5 is J 12.9 injector 6 is H 13.2 
two oddballs, cylinder five and cylinder three. Cylinder five and cylinder three. Now mind you, cylinder five and cylinder three are on the same bank as cylinder one. Firing order is one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's take a look at our history. No misfires on three. Two on five. A bunch on cylinder one. Just out of curiosity. Cylinders one and four are companion cylinders. They share the same coil, just remember that. So, what does that tell you? Remember we had low KV? Should I do an injector drop test? I suppose. Again, the key's been on for a while, guys. Key on, engine off, no bleed down. Sitting static at about 40, 39, 40 PSI. So, do I suspect a fuel delivery problem? Well, let me check spec. Well, according to the old snap-on, key on, engine off, fuel pressure should be 41 to 47. Let me cycle key. All right, what do we got? Right around 40. And it says, at idle, normal fuel pressure should be 3 to 10 PSI less than key on, engine off. Snap throttle pressure may increase, but not drop. Show. 3 to 10, and I think we were getting about 30, about 31-ish, and then she would come up. So, are we dealing with a fuel delivery problem from the fuel pump? No, we're dealing with weak spark and a couple bad injectors, which, if we're going in there, we're doing the rest of them. At least that's what I'm going to highly recommend to the customer since I did already. So, I guess we can do a drop test quick on all the injectors just to get that out of the way. Check it out, this old girl's got injector balance testing built into her. Sweet! All right, let's go in here. Make sure all fuel lines are connected. Yep, 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 yep. We're done with that. Please note that each injector can only be pulsed once per ignition cycle. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. Again, we got a little bit of bleed down there. Nothing too major, guys. I already checked the fuel pressure regulator. Rolled that out. <clears throat> um, I think the check valve in the pump is leaking just a hair, but I don't suspect a weak pump here. Let's try this. Okay. No pressure. 40-ish. Record fuel pressure reading. Yep. So we're at, what, 40? Just under 40 there. Continue. And it didn't do anything. Probably help if I had the connector actually plugged in. Hold on, big dumb. All right, let's start this again now that I actually got it connected. Okay. It's gonna charge that injector. Energizing fuel system. Again, we're pretty damn close to minimum spec there. Yep. Okay, let's drop it. And hold on. All right, she timed out. Let's try it again. It's energizing. Okay. All right, hold on. Oh, she ain't working. I'm oh, sorry, guys. I got <clears throat> interrupted, and then. I went in ahead and ran injector two before I started recording again. And uh, injector two worked. I don't know why injector one didn't. So we'll come back to that. Um, it, it dropped down to 35 from 40 on injector two and I already noted it. So let's try injector three. Okay, 40. Ooh, 34? Again, injector 3, 12.9. All right, let's keep rolling here. Uh, injector 4, 40.
35. Alright, on to number 5. Forty. Thirty-five. Okay. All right, number six. Thirty-five. Okay, I'm gonna start it, let it run for a while, and then we'll do it again just to compare so we have two two different uh, tests, okay? All right, again, misfire counters just to show you. It's not picking up any misfires right now. Just some quick data since I've got it up. She's idling. Take a look at some trims. See we're running negative 14 on our long term, and about zero on our short term. So she's running, running rich. And this airflow hurts. 11.5 on her intake. Inches of mercury. on a snap. Mass airflow looks good. 28.9. There you go. Second injector balance test. Hopefully injector one works this time. 40. There it worked. Oh yeah. 34-ish, 33. Injector two. Oh, just under 40. Again, that 34. Injector three. Just a hair under 40. 34. Alright, injector 4. Ooh. About 35 ish. Injector five. Uh, injector five, I think, is the one I replaced, guys. And that one sounds a lot different. And 35. Cylinder six. Just listen to the difference. So, cylinder five is the one I replaced because it was the back one here, if I remember right. Here we go. What do we got? 40. Let's see the difference. Oh, just under 35. All right, results are in. I know we didn't do cylinder one, but I'd imagine we're going to see the issue again. Cylinder five was the one we replaced. Yeah, cylinder five is the one we replaced, if I remember right. I'll have to double check on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. So, should have done all the injectors. All right, real quick, guys. Amperage measurement, all of our injectors. Um, green trace is to cylinder one control, and blue trace is to cylinder five, okay? I know I'm good, quote unquote. And there it is. There's the amperage ramp. What are we pulling there? A little under an amp. Something else I want to show you. Let me get the green trace out of the way. 
Look at that spike at the end of there. That, that injector's no good. <clears throat> so there you go. That's cylinder one. Let me add cylinder five in the mix. Let's take a look at him. Yeah, you can see these rant these amperage waveforms. Ah, oh, cylinder five, there you are. Oh, let me get lined up. All right, guys. Cylinder five is the one I replaced. I remember, I re referenced my video. I'm 100% I'm positive on it. Look at this, look at this current ramp. Look at how a nice little wing there. You see that on the ramp? That's what good looks like. I'll look at the rest of these as I scroll through them. See something missing there? How many amps are we pulling? About 0 0.8, 800 milliamps. What's this? Cylinder one, our problem child. Again, let's look at him a little closer. Do you see it? Do you see the little tail spike? Oh, let me bring it down. Sorry guys, it's hard to film and do this, but I'm going as fast as I can. Let's shut off this other channel to get the confusion out. So again, boom, there it is. There's its control. So we're done. It's getting coils, all of them. And it's getting all the injectors, with the exception of Cylinder 5's injector, because that one's already been replaced. Well guys, unfortunately I have to cut it short. I hope you guys liked the video. Got some good captures on secondary, got some ignition and uh, injector testing done. I'm confident in my call guys, it's getting all the coils, all of them. We're doing the rest of the injectors like I said we should have done originally. Uh, I did get some captures on my scope, I saved them. Um, of you can actually see it. it. I don't know. I hopefully it caught it in this video. But if you look at cylinder five, which is my known good, um, the amperage on it, the ramp, you see that nice bow, right? If you look at cylinder one, the one with the most misfires, you see the, you'll see a little tail at the end of the um, amperage and at the beginning of the ramp. Okay, um, I'll try to post that. I'm gonna probably post it on Facebook. So um, if anyone wants to see it. Anyways, thanks for watching. I wish I could give you more, but I got to get back to work. Um, I got other ones I got to look at. I already spent way too much time on this one, but the only reason I did is because one, um, I wanted to, uh, it's interesting. And um, I was also showing my coworker, kind of explaining to him and we're both learning, you know, and anyways, thanks for watching guys. Take care. Hope everyone's doing all right. Stay safe.